What's up guys? Nick here for Daily Vape TV. Today is Fresh Build Friday and today I'm going to be bringing you my first ever tank atomizer build on the Russian 91%. I just got it in yesterday. Pretty excited about building it. Today we're going to be doing a standard microcoil using six wraps of 28 gauge canthal and we're shooting for right around one ohm. This is my first ever tank atomizer build so let's take a look at our tools and build her up. All right, so here I have my Russian 91% on my ohm reader. I have my tweezers, screwdriver, 14 gauge syringe needle, wire cutters, and a pair of pliers. Uh, as you can see here, I have all the pieces to the tank atomizer all separated and all cleaned up. So let's just get started. Today I'm gonna to be using about eight inches of Canthal 28 gauge. Now, just like any other coil, just what you're going to do is hold the wire parallel to the needle, do a quick wrap around, and just start wrapping. Today we're going to do six wraps. Now the only difference between this atomizer and a dripper is that when you wrap your coil, you want one wire facing one way, one wire facing the other. So we're just going to bring this wire right straight up this way and when we unwrap this one we're going to bring it straight down there we go there's our coil let's get around our atomizer and build up the tank now you want to take your coil keep it on whatever you're wrapping around and you're going to place it right where you want it and wrap your lead around the back side of your post here and tighten down that screw. And the same thing in the opposite direction for your positive lead. So just wrap it right around the back side there. Sometimes you got to keep a little tension on it so it doesn't escape. Now you want to neaten up that coil just by straightening it and pulling up straight up. There we go. You want to lift it right off the deck. And you want to position it directly over that air hole. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to nudge it on this side just to get it right where I want it. Alright, so there we go. I mean, that's your coil right there. So real quick I just want to take a reading and see what the ohms are. 0.98. Right about where, where I wanted it. Uh, it might actually jump up a little bit when I put it on my mod. So let's uh, put it on the mod and give it a test fire. Today I'm going to be using the 722 mod which is a regulated mod perfect for a tank atomizer. Let's give it a quick test fire and fix any hot spots. Just want to pinch that coil together until it cools down. Looking pretty good. All right, so now the tricky part is wicking. So as you can see here, I have my wick already pre-rolled. Now we're going to install it into our atomizer. So you just want to find that sweet spot where it gives you just the right amount of resistance, but it's not going to choke your wick. Right about there. Now I'm going to trim the wick just a little bit before I put the chimney on just to get it out of my way. You want to leave about an inch and a half on either side. Now the next thing you want to do is pull those two wicks up directly vertical and slide your chimney over it. Alright, 
So as you can see, I have my wicks pulled directly up and now we're going to trim off the excess and shove them back down in. Hopefully it'll wick right. I've only done a couple of builds so here's the hoping. So we're just going to trim our wick right at the top of our chimney here. So let's just stick the wicks directly in front of those wick channels there. Just be very careful you don't want to rip it. So now we're going to take our needle tip juice bottle and just do a dab right in front of the wick channel. And this will act almost like a glue so you make sure it sticks right exactly where you want it. When you have your wick right where you want it, just uh, juice up the coil a little bit. Now we're going to take it off of the ohm reader, put it back on our mod, and give it a quick test fire. So you want to listen to your coil and make sure it's not sizzling after you stop hitting the fire button. That way you know if your wick is going to be choke, choked or too loose. But right now we're looking pretty darn good. Next thing you want to do is start building up your tank by putting the extra sections on. And in order to make sure it's wicking properly, you want to just put a little bit of juice in the outside of that channel, on the outside of your atomizer deck. And just listen to your coil, make sure it's wicking properly. And when you're absolutely certain your wick is good to go, you can put the top cap to the chimney on. You do want to leave a little bit of room so that your air can move around in there. Alright, so let's put the screw back in and have a vape. Alright, so we have our Russian 91% all built up. Let's have a quick vape. Now, with these type of atomizers, you don't get a ton of vapor. It's definitely not for cloud chasers, but you get full-on flavor, and obviously you have enough juice to last you a little while, which is really why I bought it, just because... Uh, Dripping gets old pretty quick, especially when you're out, you know, you can't drip and drive or anything like that. So I wanted something that I could rebuild my own coils, but also have, you know, a decent uh, long vape session without having to drip. So one more here. I'm getting full on flavor. I'm using Waterberry by E6 Vapors today. Uh, it's a 70-30 PG-VG blend, so it's very high in PG, which makes it a little bit easier for that, that juice to get down into your atomizer deck. And uh, flavor's really good, really sweet. As you can see, plenty of vapor. Uh, the airflow is really good on it, and I'm, I'm not getting any dry taste to it, so pretty good build for first time today I'm vaping at 18 watts 4.83 volts and the coil ended up being about 1 ohm so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like favorite and subscribe tune in next time for more juice reviews and I will be coming out with my vaping 101 series in the near future keep an eye out for that and as always vape on